Hey fam, just coming through with another short video. Got some things to get off my mind. So I thought, hey, why don't I come in and relax and just chit chat with my YouTube family and see if they feel the same way I feel. But right now, I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> Now, I had a lot of respect for my housewives, even though they get on my nerves sometimes and then I have to come in and break my truth on their behinds on how they're acting out here in these streets of Atlanta or whether they're on the show doing what they do to get those ratings uh, high so they can keep living the lifestyle that they feel they deserve to be living. Well, hon, when I got this off, well, my daughter really told me about it because she's also doing a little video on it as well. If y'all don't know who she is, go check her out. Star J Craziness is what she calls herself. Okay. Yes, that is my daughter. All right. But cha, 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 cha. She showed me this video on Lovely's Tea. Um, I think she's known as Lovely Tea uh, 2002. It's her Instagram hand, handler or handle. Child, she showed me a video where Nene is comparing herself to George Floyd. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, Marlo, Cynthia, Candy, anybody in ear shot, shot, uh, shout, please come get her. Because she done lost her mind comparing herself to George Floyd, who definitely we all seen got very brutalized by the police department and she's trying to c compare herself to what the ladies do on the show to her as brutality whether she feels it's verbally brutal or not i'm like nina you asked to be brutalized you asked to be censored out you asked to be jumped on verbally when you entered in the ring of reality tv and mr Jeff George Floyd, he didn't ask to be beat to death and put to the ground and let somebody just take his life by a knee to his neck, okay? And he's telling the person to get off him, please, begging for his mama, which his mama was dead at the time. I'm like, damn, did he see, a, did he have a conniption? Did he see his mama in person? And she was just saying, come on home, honey, come on home. He was like, okay, mama, I'm coming. You know that kind of shit? Nene, I'm like totally surprised, lost several points in my book trying to compare yourself to something that was so prevalent and pivotable or pivotable out there now. Black Lives Matter. Nene, ain't nobody trying to kill you. You think somebody physically trying to hurt you by using verbally, verbal words, girl. I'm just so too fit to be tired. I'm like. All of the fake foolery, fuckery, fraudulent, shitty activity of a demeanor you can have, Nene. You're going to put yourself up there for George Floyd. Are you kidding me, girl? Whoo, Nene, you just look like one of them white women that feel like they privileged. They can say anything to anybody, but you don't want them to say anything to you. Well, there's a problem. There's a foul on the play and all this kind of nonsense going on. I'm like, Nene, step back into your blackness, okay? Oh, baby girl, they don't want you. They don't want you in the elite club, all right? They don't, all right? They only see you as a black woman they can coon off of because you are on a TV show where you have nothing but ratchetness going on. And you try to fly above it all, but you get your hands dirty just like the rest of them, and you get good a slut bucket as well. A hood eagle is what we call you, okay? Now, we're going to play just a little clip, and maybe y'all can find some edification for me. Because I'm like, Nene is dead wrong, and I'm calling her to the curb and saying, file on play. You do not do that. That's just foul. Foul. I'm like, with all that gold hell, you, you really done thought you some kind of dumb blonde up there? You really want to be with, like Kim Zosi at Berman, don't you, Nene? You really do. I think you really wish you were born white. But, girl... Don't you know slavery comes to an end at one point? Do you really want to be on that side when it's really all said and done, Nene? You want to be on the hatred side of it all, looking down at people. Because the same people that you're looking down on, they made you who you are by buying your products, by supporting you on different um platforms you're on, like the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and when you were doing other little... um 
interviews out there, keeping your name out there. Hell, us vloggers keep you getting paid because if we didn't talk about you and people didn't enjoy some of our content, if not all, wouldn't nobody really know your name because a lot of people don't look at Ratchet TV. And that's the platform where you were really known and brought up on. But you're just cooning for us, Nene. That's what you're really looking like now. You're just cooning for television and saying all this nonsense stuff. Now, we can take it when the season is rolling because we know, hey, y'all got to give us a lot of drama <coughs> to stay on the cash flow or the cash show. Your cash show cow, I should say. And then what you going to do after these two years? Because we don't did that one year. You had a three-year contract. So what you going to do in them two years? You going to keep just do, uh, rolling down the hill in a sense? Because you ain't rolling up the hill. You rolling down the hill. So when you're done with your three-year contract that was locked in stone, are you going to be out like the rest of these other women that found themselves shown the door that they probably didn't think they would be shown the door because they thought they was the shit? But let's listen to this clip. Let's listen to this clip. He was physically ganged up on. And I have felt verbally ganged up on many times. And that is not fair to me. And for all of you out there who can say they don't know what ganged up on is, Google the definition of gang up. Gang up is more than one person on a person at the same time. George Floyd was ganged up on. So no, he was physically ganged up on. And I have felt verbally ganged up on many times, and that is not fair to me. If I now, my thing with Nene... If it's not fair, if you don't like it, why are you still on this platform? You can always go back to Bravo and say, I need to rescind my contract. It's just, it's just being, it's just a little bit too much for me or what I can handle at this time. But we all know need the ones that see and think and try to analyze your behavior. If you didn't have this show, baby, okay, how would you keep up? The lifestyle that you crave so dearly. Okay. Did you invest that well? And I'm hoping you you did. So when it's done and said. And your two year stretch with the Real Housewives of Atlanta pending. I'm hoping you have gotten your house paid for. Your cars paid for. And this that, and the third. Because you know you're going to have some haters out there. Going to come on you hell of a strong. Hell of strong. Trying to dog you out. Because you dog so many people out. Even in your real life, when you're out there in those streets, you have been made to look like an ass. But it was no really cameras rolling. So, it was your true demeanor. Now, fam, y'all get down in them comments and y'all tell me what y'all thought. Was Nene correct in trying to put herself up there with the, this, with the deceased George Floyd and what he went through that we had to witness? Child, please. If anybody had Nene down on that ground. <laughs> okay. Then we can have something to talk about. But, Nene, you weren't on the ground. You didn't have three officers pinning you down. You didn't have a knee to your neck. Okay? You wasn't gasping for breath and start trying to see dead people. Okay? And bleeding blood coming out your mouth. All right? No, ma'am. Okay? So, stop portraying yourself to be in that type of limelight when I wouldn't even want to even Thinking that for my worst enemy to be done like that. So you comparing the ladies on the Real Housewives of Atlanta of verbally abusing you. Then damn get off the fucking show Nene. I mean you really got me mad. I'm like come on get off the show. If you can't get in tune with your spirituality and your little spirit guru counselor you have over there is not doing it for you you're not getting on your knees and praying for some type of reprieve when the only thing you got to do is say i quit i'm walking away from this i have my businesses and that's gonna make me for now but you're not saying all of that you're talking about what's fair what's unfair life ain't fair okay when life throws you lemonades I love, Lord, when life throws you lemons, you make lemonade or hell, make a margarita out of it. You can do that. You don't see Marlo doing all that mess. She doing what she feels she has to do to stay on the show. And she ain't but a friend of the family. 
I'm sorry. She's just a friend of the show. She don't have a peach, but she has longevity. And she ain't talking about going to no counselor or, or no a psychiatrist to help her out. I'm like, girl, you're doing too much. You are doing too, too much. You're living in your mind a white privileged white woman's life okay we need you to get back to your blackness okay because for it to be really told they probably still looking at you as a black woman as somebody that can entertain us but not sit at our table have you ever really thought about that nene and then you're going around here acting like these same white women that you claim you don't like that you don't if they disrespect you you coming for them too you see, it's kind of like it's a different color, but it's from the same book that they're playing out against black folks. So, I don't know, Nene. I don't know. I'm looking at you sideways, girl. I'm looking at you sideways because I'm like, I have definitely got on the rest of the women. But these women ain't that bad where they hanging you up by a ladder and by your neck. Or throwing you down on the ground and beating you with words or whatever. I mean, if you can't take it, get out the kitchen, baby. Stop mixing up recipes and move on. Okay, move the hell on. But I find it very offensive that you would compare yourself to this deceased man. That you're in the same type of situation that he's in it's just he got physically assaulted but you've been getting verbally assaulted and you find some similarity between the two pity pity on you nene shame on you but let's get out here and see what these uh commenters said on lovely t's instagram account we had um one lady say i thought she was rich why put up with it hell i don't even talk to toxic immediate relatives i love peace okay then someone else said how about you just quit the show if it's that bad why keep subjecting yourself to be ganged up on and verbally abused when you don't have to another good point that person made another comment or wrote i have absolutely no issues with what she stated you're making a statement i just hate when people would try to add the whole i know you will block me disclaimer y'all tried it okay and it goes on and on and on and on <laughs> but i'm like nene you done did and said too much right there, hon. I think you done bit off more than what you were trying to surface up as your truth. Greg, come get your wife. Come get your wife because I think something is terribly wrong with her when she wants to get in a ring and try to battle with the press or social media and her colleagues that she's co-starring with that they doing her like George Floyd. I mean, ooh, girl. I'm so done. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold my tongue when I see other articles come out on you. Because it, it, it just it hurt my spirit when you did this. Now, I could put up with just about every type of foolery you come out there with. And you try to make it a storyline. But it's just fraudulently, fraudulently, fuckery, foolery, and fake, Nene. Total shitty de demeaning of a behavior you're having with this particular uh, stance on Black Lives Matter. Girl, you're making it turn into something that's supposed to be very powerful to something very plain and indignant in a sense. You're trying to whitewash it down or something. And that's not right for you to do. So, Nina, you need to rethink it. You need to apologize is what you need to do to the public for even condoning such a thought to come out your mouth and say You've been done wrong like George Floyd. No, honey. Only if you up in them pearly gates or you burning in hell. Meaning your life, your spirit is not here no longer on this earth. That we can try to sympathize or empathize with where you were coming from. Because right now, I can't give you either one of them. That's a stupid, that's a stupid person's mentality. Or what you said. Comparing yourself to the plight that George Floyd lived and died for. 
and you talking about a reality show that you can definitely exit stage left to and never see again and go somewhere out yonder somewhere and do you fully you without these hater women you saying trolling you and, and and trying to backstab and take everything that you don't build I thought you was that HBIC because being an HBIC, you don't care about people that's on the side of you or in back of you. You're only looking forward. So it just shows me you're not that person. In it. You may once was one, you know, when you first got on the show, but somewhere you got the big head and you just kept it. And it ain't looking good. It ain't looking good. Now I'm signing off now because I done had my rant. Now when my family come in and tell me what they think about this mess of what Nene said. Because it's a hot mess. I don't care. The, the, the Nene uh, group can come on and I better every last one of y'all. Because ain't no way in the hell she suffered the way George Floyd suffered. Not even a tenth. Okay. But that's all I got for this video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Uh, definitely get down in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about the whole issue of Nene saying that and comparing herself to. I'm like, girl, how dare you? But I will see y'all next video. And don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and like the video. Thank you. Peace.